Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DNR under Secretary Ignacio Loyola Rodriguez disclosed that they are currently working with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the United States. This is part of the ongoing survey on the estimated damage to the ecosystem of the oil spill in Oriental Mindoro. And we are in coordination with uh, uh, NOAA of the United States to ensure that we have the proper science in doing it because uh, um, uh, we understand that since claims would be uh, international in nature, there are certain things, there are certain things that, that, that should be um, the, the data that, that should be collected. The DNR added they will release the initial cost of damage on April 11 next week. The Philippine Coast Guard or PCG on the other hand said once the initial amount of damage will be out, they can get claims from the sunken empty Princess Empress Insurance Company and International Oil Pollution Compensation or IOPC funds. New claim desks will also be put in other places which also be affected by the oil spill. Uh, we're talking about two claims here. One claim is for people, the other claim is for the environment. So who's uh, the government and the environment? Who's going to take care of the other one? If uh, the, the, the DNR, the e EMB has already identified how much damage uh, the pollution has uh, caused, then uh, we could claim it directly to IOPC and the PNI. -3. The Oil Spill Interagency Committee, headed by the Department of Justice or DOJ, will conduct the next dialogue with the other agencies, such as the PCG, DNR, and Marina, among others, on April 12 for an update on the ongoing effort on the incident. Dante Amento, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.